a Japanese tunnel thought to stretch to Bazilan, then giant Kuracha and dried stingray from a tiny island in the middle of the ocean, and judging a pageant. Sulu, always full of surprises. Welcome back to Barangay Tabialan, where they've prepared some snacks to prepare us for the next adventure. Bola bola. Bola bola bola. 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 Bola Bukayo feeling. And this one, bolo bolo. I just feel like I should open this with a bolo. Peanut filling, I didn't expect that at all. It's awesome though, really, really good snack. Nkape di nakahawa sug, kape lang. Walang kahawa sug. Iba iba na. Kahawa lang. Kasi, sir, ang kinakawa namin yung masin na o. Uses solar. Awesome. So here they really look towards Zamboanga. And the secondary one is Maluso in Basilan. So the products here really do come from Zamboanga. They don't really look towards Holo anymore, which is interesting. Egg and flour mixed, filled with peanuts, and rolled into a ball. Ready to be fried in oil. This bridge, I actually feel like, is very, very strong. Oh, it's a long way to the top. Tabi Allen located in a sheltered passage that goes all the way to the back of the island. That's the I know subdivision now. <laughs> Gated community. <laughs> Once we hit the ocean, we're heading all the way to the tip of the island. And we came into dock here. Oh, we're at the top now, and from here, you can see Basiland in the distance. There's a belief here that these caves along this coast actually contain tunnels built by the Japanese going all the way to Basiland. That's around 50 kilometers away. Pretty impressive if it's true, but no one's dared to go into them to verify that. To get there, we've got to go Indiana Jones again. Fat Indiana Jones is back, but only on a light trail. I didn't realize it was quite so far. So, trekking through the forests of Sulu. I never thought I'd ever say that, but here we are. It feels stuck in time, a Jurassic world. And then we found something. What's <laughs> up? Back on my Bulawan. <laughs> Mawala 70 calories. <laughs> I'd convinced them to go inside. The scariest thing we found being these tiny birds or maybe bats. <laughs> but more importantly, I'm too big to fit in this gap. And on this side is the ocean. The ocean we can't dock in because the waves are too big and the boats will get smashed against the shore. Amazing. If you can afford it, you can get these rocks and build up a foundation to your house rather than building it on stilts. Didn't expect that today, that's for sure. 
and then I went full on National Geographic. I've also never seen ants that red in my life, or whatever they are. It's amazing. Little is sure about that part of history here, but nature always holds its own secrets. Let's go chase the sunset! <laughs> Are you the guard dog? Oh. Okay, bye. I was going to say that's how safe it is here. You can just walk into the municipal hall at night. But then there's... I don't think he's a guard dog. <laughs> Something happens sometimes whereby, despite whatever tiredness I have, and guess what? I've just done night boats back to back. I have every reason to be tired. But I'm not. Just have this energy. And when I came in here, even the air, the smell, the environment, everything around me just gave me this really good energy all day. The next day we're transferring islands before a much bigger adventure awaits. So today we're leaving the main Tonkil Island behind and we're exploring some of the other islands, basing ourselves in this, which is kind of like the new center. You notice they're building a bridge to connect these two islands. This is the main port, the main docking area, the deep sea. Okay, now all right. <laughs> We'll be back here later. We're just dropping our bags at our accommodation for now before heading straight back to the ocean. Welcome to Dwai Bud. Dwai meaning two, Bud mountain. Two mountain. peaks in the middle of the ocean. And even if the journey was like this, I remember in Basiland they taught me. It's a salmon belief, do not shout at the ocean, it'll make it worse. So, well, I try not to. I can't guarantee everyone did. Wow, the Okaro of that ocean. Paru Paru G. Paru Paru G. Ah, Paru Paru G. <laughs> There's a boat full of it on the ocean. And landing, I found even more dried stingray and shark. I know young Pawang, I know Pawang. We're going to climb up the top here, but as you can see, their economy is very much stingray bulad. They have some other things here. I saw they have piso net. Or maybe I just noticed this because of the waves coming in. All of the boats have catigues. They all have outriggers. None of those flat bottom boats, which is interesting. Ah, I'm Indiana Jones. They did build a path here. The problem is there's been a landslide. And nice view again. These rock formations are amazing. It's kind of like a mini Bud Bongao, in a way. The rocks, they just show the struggle of life here. It's hardy, you've got to be hardy to survive. <laughs> After all, tough places build tough people. Up here, before I start getting vertigo, you see everything. A rocky outcrop in the middle of the ocean. But I want to take another look at life at the bottom. At the back of the island is something incredibly important. Yeah. 
Here to catch water from the rain. They've dug a big pit here to collect it. It'll come down here like a waterfall, collecting the pot. It hasn't rained for a couple of days, so there's nothing left. It's a long, long way away. We're at the back of the island. And I think this demonstrates the resiliency of people here. I mean, just look at these rocks and how they've been formed, how they get smashed by the ocean. This is certainly not a straightforward life. But the ocean is light today, which means we get to appreciate the bounty of the sea, the reward for the trials and tribulations. Even seahorse. So because we're so far away, they have to dry this. So you've got dried stingray and dyed sh dyed. Of course it's dyed, it's dead. Dried shark. So the two of them, that's their main product here. But there's something even more bountiful found in the waters nearby. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Kuvacha or spanner crab, found only in a few places in the world. And you were afraid and thought it was alive. Yeah. <laughs> no, honestly, this is the biggest kuracha that I've ever seen. Yeah. That's a big one here. There's only 300 per kilo. Once that gets to Zamboanga, that's more than a thousand per kilo. So you see, there's a big, big difference at the source, and there in the city. Perfect with all of our sauce. <laughs> nah. <laughs> We're gonna bring this back as long as we can dock the speedboat. But the ocean now was much calmer than earlier. Super, super fine sand. This is Sarawak Beach. Sabah's there. Sarawak's there. No, never mind. Behind me, of course, is Balangingi. Balangingi Island is the old fortress island from the days of the Sultanate of Sulu. It was a fortress because back then there were a lot of pirates that came from here and took slaves, especially in the Visayas, but also sometimes from passing guardians. They did that because there was a blockade from Spain. They couldn't get arms in, they couldn't defend themselves. So they took slaves and they sold them sometimes to, to rich people in Holo, sometimes to Chinese merchants. And then the Chinese merchants will bring back arms and other things, of course. In 1848, there was a Spanish expedition to Balangingi. They destroyed the forts. They took the cannons, one of which is at the Municipal Hall. And that was the start of the end of the Sultanate of Sulu. I'd spend longer, but we're all hungry. So, food, most importantly. Back in Luuk Poblacion, they wanted us to taste the real flavour of Kuracha, steamed. I didn't realise there's three of these bigger than my head. I, yeah. Literally. That's amazing. Now we're really getting seafood from the source. The amount of meat in this is awesome. I just, I just don't know how to take it apart. I know what YouTube needs. Another onion chopping video. Let's make Sao Saoan. Proper spice. Proper spice. This posh spice. Baby spice. Proper spice. This meat just comes out so easily. It's soft. It's juicy. Let's get the texture. Wow. So juicy when it's fresh. We're getting the natural flavour because this is steamed. My favourite bit. This is the meatiest bit. Oh, it's sweet. It's like lobster. It's just like lobster in flavour. It's really special, special flavour. The big sizes are the best. For now, we're heading back to Dongon. We've got an event later. We're staying at a homestay tonight at the centre of this hub of activity. And as night set, it was time to try some more of the seafood that we got earlier. 
go with the appetizer. Kailangan maliit siya. This has been freshly cooked. It's blue blood. There wasn't any fresh earlier, unfortunately. But blue blood again. <laughs> it's meaty. It's meaty, but it still tastes like blue blood. So there we go. Cucumber. Ah, nature's spring, nah, suka. That's a legitimate lime growing on the opposite island. Wow. Pineapple. You can sing, eh? Yeah? Oh, galing. Enough. <laughs> Mmm, mmm, Stingray curry as well. This is going to be awesome. Another way of cooking stingray. Mmm. Yeah. When it's fresh, wow. It's got its own flavour. Someone's ready for later, and I'm just not. I'm just. Don't smell yet. Control na pero. Yeah. Ikaw makanta. <laughs> Ikaw makanta sir. <laughs> Ikaw lang. <laughs> Hindi ako makanta. <laughs> outfit, outfit na. I have a shirt. I have one shirt just for this. Like when I get called to judge a pageant. There's one vehicle on the whole island, I think. And we're in it. Oh my man. Hi. How are you? How are you? Hey! Hey! Honestly, such an overwhelmingly awesome welcome. I will not go for the boat. I'm, I'm here for judging. Yes. Here we are. Judging a high school pageant, I think, in Sulu. Yeah. Random things oh, yeah, happen. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, National Husband, Maine! Pageants here are different. Culturally sensitive, of course. You can experience people of Bali are peace loving and hospitable. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me introduce our next board of judges, Mr. Ansel Robert. Ayan. Thank you so much, sir, for coming over tonight. Thank you, sir. Abi na mo, sir. Mag no speak to the ring. Kapano di ay sir yan ang saya. Part cultural showcase, part contemporary. And of course, the traditional Pang ally. But when I was called up, I definitely couldn't match this guy. And even when it rains, the show must go on. Best heat of all people! We would like to express our America's gratitude and thanks to the following. So there we have it, a few moments of a beauty pageant in Sulu that went on way past midnight. <laughs> I saw the principal! <laughs> thank you, thank you. See you again. <laughs> this is legendary, the rain's coming back again. 
and I'm getting out of here before I get any more wet or destroy my camera. And I really appreciate this too. They've given this malong, which I think came from Malaysia, batik patterns. This is really like a traditional Sama thing. The Sama clothing, they wear Ooh. malongs. That's the best explanation I can give because it's 12.30 in the morning and brain's not functioning anymore. See ya.